So today we're unboxing this. Well, not just this, this as well. So if you wanna see it, keep on watching. Welcome back guys, and today I'm unboxing this 20 meters garden line retractable hose. So guys, you might be thinking, what is Jetski 101 and why is Joe talking about a garden hose pipe? Well, I've not completely lost my mind, I've not decided to take up gardening, get rid of all of my jet skis. Jetski 101 is a new series specifically focused on everything associated to jet skiing. You're gonna see hacks, top tips, comparisons, reviews, and lots more, all to do with jet skis. A series that essentially shines a light on all the things that formulate the jet ski lifestyle. On with the video. Now anyone who has a jet ski knows that flushing your jet ski after riding it is vital for maintaining your ski. And well, I've been looking for a good retractable hose for some time versus the conventional getting a hose reel, getting it all into a mess and having to wrap it up each time. Everyone knows those hoses that end up getting in a mess and you never want to use them. Well, this fancy thing hopefully is the answer to my problems. So this garden hose was purchased from Aldi here in the UK and the key things to keep in mind is these kind of retractable hose start from around sort of 70 pounds and go all the way up to, so I've seen ones where it's expensive as sort of 200 pounds. With one brand in particular, Hose Lock, Hose Lock, I'm not quite sure how you say it, sort of dominate the market and the trouble is, is their products are actually like this fresh and yellow and a lot of these hoses typically are these sort of really garish colors i love bright in your face colors on the jet skis but not when it's a product that's going to be sat on the outside of your house so the fact that i was able to pick this up in aldi for 40 pounds yes 40 pounds is well a steal so your next question is yeah but joe is it any good and what's the quality like so first impressions of unboxing this garden line hose reel was one of apprehension because you never quite know with the cheaper end products or how the product's actually going to feel does it feel cheap and i must say i was quite impressed it comes with a quick release attachments male and female which you get on most of the, the modern hose reels and a nice adjustable hose ends so you can go from a sort of a light spring all the way up to sort of the jet setting so yeah really just nice robust feel to the actual plastic casing nothing immediately felt that cheap and the main case itself like i previously mentioned is not in one of those garish colors it's a nice neutral gray with a little bit of accent of green so it'll fit nicely on the side of your house <laughs> The unit itself has a nice little carry handle and makes it super easy for you to carry around if you so wish. Which is super handy as the main bracket has a removable pin. So in the colder months of the year, you can actually remove the whole reel, put it inside the garage so that the pipe's obviously not getting freezed up. Now in terms of the fixing kit that comes with this product, you get four heavy duty hex screws and also some conventional roll plugs. But what I would say, and this is not an endorsement, but I use Duo Fisher, maybe saying it incorrectly, dual power roll plugs. They do them for plasterboard, they do them for masonry, and I'm sure there's some other ones as well. But essentially they're a hybrid between a conventional roll plug and then a secondary collapsible part to the roll plug which gives you a much more solid fixing however in my instance i've opted to fit the actual hose reel to the side access to our house which is actually going to be going into wood so in my instance i don't need any roll plugs because obviously the screws will bite nicely into the wood itself i can't stress enough though guys take your time do your homework work out the best position the best fixing because in the long run you don't want it pulling out of the wall you obviously are pulling against it is a retractable hose reel one thing i would say though guys is obviously the screws provided are hex finishes so luckily i actually had the adapter for my drill to, to be able to drive these in directly but if you don't have that you will potentially have to do it with like a conventional spanner so once you actually marked out where you want the hose reel it's a case of putting the four securing screws into the actual bracket itself you may need someone to just hold it in position where you start the first screw off once you have the first screw in i find that it actually holds into position quite well You have all of the fixings in place is as simple as putting the housing into position and securing with the pin. The mechanism itself works by the first pull will lock it into place and the second pull which I find if you do slightly softer then retract the hose back into place but be careful it is quite aggressive. So guys, I'm pretty impressed with this hose reel, to be honest. It's everything that I kind of wanted from a hose reel. I know it's just a hose reel, but small little things like this just make the whole process of washing your jet ski, watering the plants, not that I water my plants a lot, cleaning the car, just much more enjoyable because you pull the hose out and then when you're done, you just little tug of it and it pulls it back into place and it's just neat and tidy. Plus, when you come to the winter months and you want to put it away, you literally pull the pin out, put it into your garage. I would make sure that you kind of twist the nozzle, get all of the water out of the hose itself. It's a little bit time consuming from my experience. 
you pull the whole hose out and you actually just make sure you're shaking the hose to get all of the water out of it so it doesn't freeze in position. If it does, guys, ultimately it's not end of the world scenario because you could just heat up the pipe and obviously just loosen up the water. It would be a little bit time consuming, but in essence, if you're taking the pin out and you're putting it in your garage like you should be if you purchase this hose, then you should be all good. So would I recommend this product? 100%, as far as hose reels go, this is a steal. You know, realistically at 40 pounds with this level of functionality, plus it not being garish, it looks at home on the outside of your house. You can't really ask for much more than that, guys. Obviously so far I've had it for only around a month. So realistically time will tell in terms of longevity and components and how things behave. But for me personally, I use a lot of GT85, so I will be putting that on some of the internal components like the rollers and things to make sure that over time it's not rusting up. Obviously it is exposed to the elements in water, so inevitably you will get water that will get inside. Now I have came across a couple of other videos which reference this particular hose reel and they're kind of two years into ownership and they're all good. So I think to be honest, if you're here in the UK, I'm not sure if Audi, Lidl, always mix up the two, is a global brand, is it Megan? Megan doesn't want to commit behind the camera. I'm not sure the geographical locations of where it is as a retailer, but in essence, it's seasonal. We've seen these for the last three years. Again, my dad gets referenced all the time. He was the recommendation again. He had the hose pipe before me, so I kind of said, can you get me one? And when they came into season, I will pre-warn you, he actually went into, I think, four different retailers and got me one, bless him. What a man. And realistically, it's now on my wall and I'm taking all the credit for it. So thank you for watching as always, guys. There's gonna to be tons more video coming in this 101 series. The next one will probably be an NNC jet ski stand, which is a really interesting one, the unboxing and sort of first impressions. Jet ski stands are quite an important thing to have if you're a jet skier. It helps you sort of protect the bottom of your hole. So that's an important one to watch. So hit the subscribe button, show me some love. Thank you for everyone as always. I know I say it all the time, but it doesn't go unnoticed. Everyone who's messaging me, everyone who's liking, it's just great. It helps me so I keep making this content and it is a good gauge for me to see what you guys like. So put in the comments if you've liked this video, what you'd like to see next and I'll keep making the videos and just collectively guys, let's keep the classics alive. Thank you for watching.